Hey folks, welcome to another Water Trek 360. This is part two of a three-part series on Rex and Roatan. Today we're going to be looking at the Prince Albert and a DC-3. Uh, yes, that is still a 3D printer behind me, which will feature prominently in today's video. Do check out part one and a bonus we have for part three when we talk about some photography opportunities in Oak Ridge. Hope you enjoy. I'm not affiliated with Coco View, nor do I get any kind of promotion or remuneration from them. Uh, it was simply the place that I stayed on this trip to Roatan. Our first wreck is a DC-3A on 18th of March, 1990, on a routine domestic passenger flight for Honduran Airlines from Guanaja to Roatan, she overran the runway while trying to land at Juan Manuel Galvez International Airport on Roatan and ended up in the sea. The aircraft was damaged beyond repair, but uh, luckily the crew of three and the 29 passengers all escaped unharmed. Uh, the DC-3 was built in 1944, had two Pratt & Whitney R-1830-92 engines. Uh, later that year, in 1990, she was cut into pieces and sunk in the channel just a bit southwest of the Prince Albert's bow. She's spread over a wide area and sits in anywhere from 45 to 60 feet of water. It's a pretty short swim if you follow the rope from Prince Albert's bow uh, out to the DC-3. Uh, she's routinely visited by eagle rays and a variety of other fish and makes a nice uh, addition to the Prince Albert as a dive. As I mentioned in the intro, and for those of you who have seen other Water Trek 360 video, you know that I am into 360 imagery and uh, 3D printers. Uh, I have to thank Patrick Leniger, the creator of this 3D image that you're looking at here, um, for the image of the DC-3, and then later on in this video you'll see similar images for the Prince Albert. Uh, this is a, a wonderful technology, and uh, I hope you would support Patrick by uh, checking checking out his links. This image took roughly 400 photos from different angles to produce. As you can see, this image gives you a nice visual representation of the DC-3 as it's spread out in the channel and uh, gives you a good sense of where you will be on the wreck at any one time. The Prince Albert is a 140-foot tanker. As the story goes, in the early 1980s, the ship was named the Maas, M-A-A-S, which is a very common shipping name uh, for Dutch commercial vessels. Uh, at the time, she was owned by a Nicaraguan company, and the tanker was being used to transport Nicaraguan war refugees to Roatan. Uh, after it arrived in 1984, filled with fleeing Nicaraguans, she was abandoned. She was eventually stripped of any valuables and left partially submerged after being run aground. She fell into disrepair and was abandoned to rust uh, along the mangroves. In 1984, Bill Evans, uh, founder of the Cocoa View Resort, uh, saw an opportunity to provide a wreck for his diving guests. Uh, getting government approval can be challenging, but with the help of a local businessman, Albert Jackson, he was eventually able to get said permission. As a tribute to Mr. Jackson's assistance, the ship was renamed the Prince Albert. She is within easy snorkel distance and beach dive distance from the Cocoa View Resort. She sits upright in 65 feet of water uh, and is in amazingly good shape for the number of years she's been down. It has a lot of algae and soft coral growth covering most of its hull. Uh, a lot of fish species uh, call the, the channels and the hollows of the tanker home. Uh, eagle rays, like the DC-3, often visit the wreck. Uh, there's moray eel, there are arrow crabs, seahorses, um, and uh, a lot of marine life. Uh, it is also accessible by boat uh, and is a quite popular night dive.
The Prince Albert not only has the distinction of being the first Roatan wreck intentionally sunk for scuba diving, some will argue that she is the best wreck on the island since she is accessible by beach and such an easy swim. It is possible to dive her several times in a day and on your own schedule. Wrecks that have been down for a while, especially uh, tropical wrecks, uh, become living reefs. And uh, we should, as responsible divers, try not to touch you know, or disturb the marine life that's grown. Once again, I want to thank Patrick Leniger for use of these images. Uh, please check out his link, go to Sketchfab, uh, pull down a copy, uh, print one off on your 3D printer. It's, uh, it's a great print, uh, uh, depending on how deep you want to get. Uh, the burn could be you know, anywhere from 12 to 26 hours, but uh, that's up to you and, and how detailed you want to make it. I must commend him on his patience and dedication for stitching together close to 3,000 photos. Well, I hope you enjoyed this review of the Prince Albert and DC-3 Rex. Uh, if you did, click like, click subscribe. Do check out part one on Mr. Bud and part three on Oak Ridge. Uh, take a look at Patrick's 3D links. And uh, until next time, go explore and get wet.